Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Emacs 2205S series motors, the 2300 kV version. Um, and I just want to give you my thoughts of these motors. In my opinion, these are the best motors I have yet to use in durability wise, uh, efficiency wise. I mean there's more efficient motors than this but for, for the for the power it provides, its efficiency is very good. It's actually competing with the Hyperlite V4, the new ones, and it's cheaper, and it's durable. And the best part of all is the fact that it just makes cleaning very easy. So let me just show you. So this is what comes with the box. You're gonna get your sticker. <clears throat> You're gonna get your little foam thingy. I love these because I could use these for my quads and, and cameras to make some kind of, uh, they're very good foam, these these protect your components sometimes if you want to use them. So it comes with 3mm frame motor screws and 4mm, uh, that's that's what it comes with here. It comes with the Allen key, I really love this Allen key, I have a bunch of them now. And here is the beautiful motor. Uh, the magnets are very strong, very strong. Um, <clears throat> Now, people say that uh, strong magnets make less of a smoother ride, but uh, I've never really noticed that um, with all the motors I've flown. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, these motors I truly love and I truly recommend for anyone and everyone uh, f for many reasons. One is they compete with some of the top motors that cost a lot more. Uh, two, they won't ruin your battery. Uh, for example, the F60 is amazing motor, but that'll just completely annihilate your battery. Just like the 2306 version of these. Um, I, I don't even want to fly it anymore. I ruined like three batteries. So this one, I was able to save my batteries. I was able to have fun. The thrust is amazing. And to I've crashed in mud a lot of times. And look how easy it is to just remove the bell. I just have to remove this screw and boop, pop it out. Just clean it up. And that's it. You know, and the others, you have to play with the C-clips. And if you break the C-clips, good luck trying to find another one. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that's one thing. Uh, another thing, you will get one of the best flight experiences ever because it just performs. You have all the thrust you need. You have all the torque you need. Even on heavy props like the King Kong uh, props, which I always use since they're cheap and they come in a bunch. And... Um, it, it just, oh, I've never gotten sick of these. These are just amazing. This is the best motor, in my opinion, from price, efficiency, and power. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I always thought, no, oh, I want more power, oh, I want more power. But when you see it ruining your batteries, you don't want more power because, you you know, you see the difference, but there's no point in the difference because this can do everything, you know, and save your battery. And, um, <clears throat> and... They're just amazing. I really do love them, and I really do recommend these. Now, I just noticed the other day that there's a counterfeit system they set up on the Emacs website, because I guess there's some float fake ones floating around, which is scary because I have a bunch of them, and that I have not used, and I don't know when I will use, so some kind of warranty or guarantee might be out the window then from Banggood. So I, bu I buy all these off of Banggood, because I trust Banggood. If there's a problem, they always fix my problem. Um... <clears throat> And uh, what else? So this is these are all on my favorite uh, quads because I know they're reliable. I know I'm gonna enjoy them. I know they're gonna perform. I know they're gonna take care of my battery. Uh, they're a little power hungry, but they, they, it's just that perfect balance. I think uh, the DYS Fire are more efficient. Uh, I have not tested them yet. I've just seen the graphs on Mini Quad Test Bench. They're less efficient. I mean, more efficient and a bit less. Uh, they don't have as much power as these, but not by much. And I've just checked out the Hyperlite V4 motors, new ones that everyone's talking about, I think. Um, and they are on the same level of efficiency as this, just by maybe an amp or two. And they, they provide a little bit more thrust, but you're not talking about much, maybe like 50 grams of thrust. I mean, yes, it adds up on four motors, but, you know, that's, uh, I don't know, I think they're like $24, $24 or $25. So for a pair of four, that's $100. I usually buy a pair of five just in case I ruin one motor or a bearing or something. And even though I've crashed these like crazy, I have yet to ruin a bearing or one or a motor. And I've gotten them so muddy. I've gotten them so dirty. I've even fell in puddles of water with these motors. They're still running just perfect. 
not a problem. No noise. The magnets feel good. I haven't yet to have a magnet fly off. Some people say they have magnets fly off. I, I can see that happening on the 2306. I just had one burn on me just turning on the quad. Um, I'm going to keep that for a later video after I talk with Emacs about that. See what's up, what's up with that problem. Um, but for the most durable, the best performing motor I have used so far is these guys and I do recommend these and I'll always have a stockpile of these in my house no matter what they're very good this is it's just amazing it's, it's just awesome you could clean it everything is just beautiful about it I really love these and I really want to share this with you guys because I am 100% certain now that these are very good motors I've been using them they're on my best quads and they have the least problems they have no problems actually uh, they don't get hot um, I'm always running 4S and I'm, I'm usually full throttling, I'm ruining my batteries. But um, these perform spectacular. They will take care of your batteries and uh, they're just perfect. They're just the perfect balance, I, in my opinion. Maybe it's, it's a little bit higher than the perfect balance because you have a little bit more thrust, but it's just that perfect balance of everything, in my opinion at least. And... Um, I really love these and I really do recommend these and if you're thinking of getting them, don't think twice, get them. And plus they're cheap. Four of them are right now for like $74. So you can buy five to keep a spare, that's $100. So <clears throat> and you can always find these. Now the, the other motors usually end up being sold out most of the time. These are always available. So I've, n I've not tried the 2600 KB version, I would love to. But usually at the last moment I just decide to stick with the 2300 KB since I know them. So yeah. So. That's going to conclude it for this video, guys. If you guys are thinking of getting these, I really do recommend you get them. Uh, don't think twice. They're, they're just going to perform exactly how you want it more. And they're durable. They can take a beating. And um, and I do crash a lot. A lot. Uh, a lot. <laughs> so uh, I can tell you these guys are handling very well. Very well. Now, the only down thing I hate about these is the nut. When you when you put on the, this M5 nut, it's such a pain to tighten. I mean, uh, even the motor grips. I usually end up get, bringing gloves with me just to hold it and just to be able to tighten it and loosen it. In the beginning, it's just it's very very difficult, and it's just annoying. That's the only annoying part about this. I hate removing props and putting props on these. That is the biggest downside of this motor. But other than that, it's just an amazing motor. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys, and please like and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions or any, any questions, feel free to just ask and let me know, and please like and subscribe, and uh, take care, guys. See ya.